All right. So in the next part of the course, I'll be walking you guys through on how to set up the Next.js itself in our local machine. So in order to set up this Next.js, we need to be having Node.js installed. And that Node.js is actually a runtime environment where we can run JavaScript frameworks like Next.js, React.js, any frameworks that make use of JavaScript, we need to make use of Node.js at the same time. So that we need to make sure to download the most stable version. And the next thing would be VS Code. So it's a code editor and it has a lot of features that comes along with the, its installation right here. So I'll be walking you guys through on how to set up both of this and also the next JS itself. So first of all, you would like to install Node.js here. So just need to look for Node.js like this. And yeah. And we, need, we can actually happen to have this particular, just click on the first result right here. And we can also directly click on this, or we can also go to download right here to look for the options that we, we would like to manually install. So as you can see, we happen to have package manager right here, but you can go to pre-build installer right here. And we have been able to select all the versions right here. And as you can see, the, the version LTS is referring to the most stable version, which is the V20 version 20. And we want to use Windows and it's going to be running on X64. So we must be able to download this particular Node.js and that should eventually able to set up your environment with Node.js. So that would be your first step. So second step, we need to look for VS Code like this. So, you know, VS Code is actually, it's a very popular code editor where you can download this particular dollar for Windows stable build right here. And this should eventually be able to set up the basic frameworks that we would need to have. And once you are able to set up both of this installation, so once we have both of these frameworks installed, so the next thing we would need to have, we can actually directly install that particular Next.js directly into our local machine right here. So we will just need to go to Next.js, uh, yeah, just need to type Next.js again, and we can actually click on the first result here again. And this is the, yeah, this is the landing page for the Next.js itself. So we can click on this get started. Just going to go to installation right here. And they, well, this is the one that we need to make use of, which is npx create next app latest. So this is the, the command that we need to use to install Next.js in our local machine. So as you can see, I will go to uh, my desktop right here and I have to open a terminal right inside my desktop. And as you can see, this, this terminal is actually pointing to my desktop right here. So I like to paste the command which I've just copied. So I like to hit enter. Okay, so you would be asking this kind of questions right here. Are we able to proceed with this particular Next.js 14.24? And this is basically some questions that we it will ask and it is also you are able to find it right here. So as you can see, this, these are the questions that usually you would find. So just need to give some uh, appropriate uh, answers. For example, I have to click Y and this should eventually download and install most of the uh, packages that we would need and to give a project name for this. In this case, I'm going to say next JS like this. And you like to use TypeScript. And in this case, I would I would indeed would like to use TypeScript because TypeScript is quite common and it's far more efficient. So let us say yes. And in this case, yes, lint is also an important package we would need. So I'm just going to click yes. And Tailwind CSS, of course, I would like to have this particular Tailwind CSS, which is a styling framework. And let's click yes. And in this case, would you like to use source directory? And in this case, I'm just going to go with no because source directory is quite outdated. The latest version will no longer be using source. It would be using app instead. So I'm going to use you no. Know. And of course, it says would you like to use app router? And it is a recommended uh, routing functionality in next year. So I'll give yes. So it's a, it's a default yes. And would you like to customize the default import liars? And uh, it's going to go with the default wave, just no. And there you go. Right now, it is installing the dependencies like React, React Dom, and Next, and also some Dev dependencies like TypeScript, uh, React, React Dom, Post CSS. All this actually meant for Tailwind CSS and ESLint for the for the code configuration. And let's wait till this particular installation process finishes. And there you go. Right now that we have already installed the Next.js along with all the required packages. So right now we can actually start this particular project right here 
So first of all, I'd like to go into this particular project right here. Thanks, yes. And of course, I'd like to open in VS Code. Of course, you must be having this VS Code once you have installed VS Code into your local machine. So this is how your project would look like. This is the project structure itself. So you happen to have all the required files. For example, you happen to have app. And in here is where we'll be having all the most important file where we have page, which is the, the most fundamental front page, index page itself. And of course, the layout is also that renders in HTML. And also, we also happen to have global search CSS. This would give the uh, the styling for the entire page. And of course, public is to store some uh, assets. Like, for example, you have an SVG file right here. And of course, we also happen to have all the other required details right here. For example, we can have all the package.json here, TS config, and now we have Tailwind config also. It's in here, it's just meant for the Tailwind right here, back on image. And let's go to your app and you can also go to page right here. This is where our page would look like. Based on this, it would, yeah, this is how the page, the front page would look like. Okay, let me just open this terminal right here. I can just open the terminal and I can run this project right here. And yeah, as you can see, node modules has already been installed right here, which means we don't need to install npm install the entire package using the package or just right here. So what we can do, we can just directly run this project. So by, by typing npm run dev. There you go. So npm run dev would create this localhost dot three. Yeah, localhost three thousand. And we can actually hold on control and click on this, and this will eventually open the yeah localhost three thousand right here. And there you go, guys. So this is the the page right here the page that uses this particular uh, page.tsx file right here. And let's try to change this particular code right here. In this case, I'll have to yeah, remove everything. And I'll just have to use a simple h1 tag like this. And in this case, I'll say hello world, just like this. And let's see the outcome. And there you go. Let's can see, I just need to make sure we refresh the page. And there you go, then you're able to find this particular uh, a pattern of straight lines and then there's some shadow underneath here. This is because of the styling. So as you can see, we, we need to go to uh, global so CSS right here. We happen to have a bunch of stylings right here. So let's say if I would remove all or we just make it hidden or we just hide it, comment all of this and this would eventually remove any stylings that has been applied previously. So in that way, we're able to have this particular global so CSS we can actually make use of this global sources to give some proper settings in the future. Yeah, this is the basically the, the HTML page right here. The HTML, it's, this particular code renders the HTML itself. And yeah, there you go guys. We're able to set up some basic Next.js project in our local machine.